And the winner is Tabby. New categories, new performers, and new vibes at the second annual Elevation Awards. Last year, the Elevation Awards hosted its first ever event, and this year, they're bringing back a three-day weekend banger. We're catching all the details with Vince McDonald, the founder. Stay tuned. Happy Monday, and we're here with Vince McDonald, Mr. Elevation himself. Vince, how are you feeling on this good Monday? I am feeling wonderful. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. So we're here to chat about the Elevation Awards. Mm -hmm. What a phenomenal show it was last year. Give us a little recap for our viewers, Vince. Well, last year we launched uh, the 2016, well, the first annual Elevation Award. We kicked off an amazing, uh, an amazing night. It was April uh, this year, and it was an amazing time. Some of the top Bahamian entertainers hit the stage, uh, and they want, we have some amazing winners from this year. People like Dyson Knight, who are, who is our Male Artist of the Year, Wendy Lewis, Female Artist of the Year, New Artist of the Year, Tebby. So some of the biggest, you know, some of the, some of those persons, some of those giants that have been working hard. The goal of the Elevation Award is basically, you know, to, to honor and celebrate the accomplishments of those Bahamian entertainers who've been putting in the work and, and helping to keep Bahamian entertainment alive. It was such a great experience um, from the red carpet to the pre-show to the mean show. Share with us the performance that we can expect from this year's event. Well, well, this year's event is going to be uh, so very different, very different. What we decided to do this year is we take it up another notch. You know, every year that we do the Elevation Awards and every year that my Elevation team come together, our goal is to strengthen the, the entertainment community and our goal is to take it to another level every single yeah. The Grand Awards show is scheduled for April 6th to 8th. 2018 at the Bahama Resort. So this year we kick off with our pre-show and then we move into our main event. We still have the live red carpet experience, you know, the, the live entertainment, the, the live award show, and we also added a gospel show this year. So this year is going to be an amazing time. A three-day weekend award show. Right. Speak about elevation, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so are there going to be any new categories? Uh, this year we added some um, some new categories. This we went from 12 to 21 categories this year, right? So this year, and we're actually going to be splitting it up within throughout the weekend. So we still have our main show where some of the bigger categories will take place, but then we have our pre-show. So we have a whole host of categories. So we have the blogger and the blogger of the year. So it's two separate categories, and, and then we have the visual art, you know, visual art. And that's what we're doing this year as well. We're actually incorporating all areas of entertainment. We also have a, a playwright of the year. So those persons that, you know, over the last couple of years, we've seen a, an amazing success in in uh, stage show, stage plays and, and short films and movies. So we have a category. This year, we are really taking it by storm by really honoring and celebrating Bahamian entertainment, entertainment straight across the board. On November 10th, all nominees will be announced, along with the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient and the new host. Be sure to tune into RTV at 6 p.m. for all of the details. Let us know what is the deadline and where they can sign up to be entrants. So basically, the deadline it kicks off today, September uh, 4th, and it goes straight into uh, October 31st. And so you have just about two months to go to our website, and you can go to our website at www.theelevationaward.com. Some terms and conditions apply. All of the instructions, all of the information, the qualification, the eligibility, all that stuff is on our website. Thank you for your time, Vince. I'm Looking forward to November 10th because I know that you guys would love to see who the nominees are just as much as I would. Reporting for our news, I'm Nikki J.